G'day guys, it's Barry Steak Fries here. Hey, that rhymes. That's good, have we used that? Have I used, write that down. Barry Ste Steak Fries and guys, it rhymes. I'm gonna, gonna add that to my collection of lyrics. Hey, good start, good start. How we going guys? Great to be back here with you for another vlog. Another episode, episode 18. 18 episodes. We've really seen some times together, haven't we, friends? Thanks for sticking it out. Really enjoyed your company each week. And I know you've been enjoying mine. Barry Steak Fries. And I'm back again this week. Uh, I promised last week that I'd talk about some gadgets on the show this week. And so that's what we're going to do, friends. I know you're excited about that. I told you I'd do it. And if there's one thing you can't say about Barry, it's that he ever breaks a promise. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, they say a lot of other things about me, like I'm ugly and badly dressed, but they can't ever say that I renege on a promise, can they? So here we are, it's time for some gadgets, I'm going to do my top six Barry Gadget countdown. Here we go, here's my top six. Number six, sliding in there, number six, the old Air Barrys. Love a bit of Air Barrys, like I said last week, these things are great, just look at those bad boys. Who wouldn't love those? I'll tell you who actually, the uh, the bouncer there at Club Legitimate. Uh, but jokes on him, I didn't even want to go in there. So, you know, also that Barry shaped hole in the wall that appeared after I got refused entry was totally already there. So, clear that up. Anyway, love those at number six. Number five, the nerd repellents. Uh, nerd repellents, uh, you know, it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, lately been a little bit faulty because uh, I can't tell if it's working properly because all of you guys are still watching. Ha <laughs> ha! Zing! Barry got ya. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm on fire! Ah, I'm just kidding guys. Please, please keep watching. I really need this. I really need uh, someone to talk to. Um, anyway, number four. The Missile Jammer. Missile Jammer is a good one, uh, obviously. Um, believe it or not, not a whole lot of fun copying a warhead directly to the face. I know it looks like uh, it looks like I can handle it okay, uh, but it's not the best. And you know what they say: a missile jammed is a missile ha is uh, is good is a good thing. So that's that's what they say about the missile jammer. So that makes the list. What else? No, oh, number three's got to be the coin magnet. Love that. Love the old coin magnet. Definitely one of my favourites. Uh, really strong too. Does a great job. Uh, maybe a bit too strong. The other day I walked past a bunch of uh, vending machines and uh, parking meters. Ended up with a pocket full of change. <laughs> yeah. uh, ac accidentally. Accidentally. Uh, anyway. Number two. The X-Ray Specs. No, no. It's not what you're thinking. Come on, guys. Get your minds out of the gutter, everybody. I just like them. They're just cool. I don't need to explain myself. Uh, number one, Flash. How can I go past Flashy Boy? Love a bit of that. My trusty robot dog. There he is. Collects the coins. Knocks over scientists. Does it all. He's great. Love him. Uh, well, he doesn't do it all. He doesn't collect my slippers yet. Uh, but we're working on that. I did get him to go collect a newspaper the other day. Uh, and off he sped. And I realised I uh, I don't have a subscription to the newspaper, uh, but he still still returned with one. Uh, it was written in Chinese. Not sure where he got it, but great job, Flash. Number one on my list, buddy. Every day. Uh, so you should pick one up yourself, guys. You can pick up a Flash from your local Jetpack Joyride shop. There's the plug. Thanks, Flash. There's my top five or six. How many did I do? Six. There you go, guys. You're wondering, and now you have received the knowledge. Ah, great stuff. Time for some questions. Let's get to it. Shadow Man. Or Shadowman. What do you prefer? Shadowman. How are you able to survive a zombie apocalypse with only a shotgun and a jetpack minigun? Uh, look pretty well, Shadowman. Uh, if I'm honest, if you're going to be stuck in a zombie apocalypse, you could do a lot worse than a shotgun and a jetpack. Uh, so, um, hope that clears that up. Thanks, Shadow Man. 
Gooseman. Or is that Gooseman? Gooseman. Where's the Easter event? Um, church? I guess? Look, uh, I tell you, Gooseman, it's, it's not quite Easter yet, so that's probably got a lot to do with it. Uh, what else we got here? Edson, Luis, Luis, Barry. Yeah, that's right, Edson. It's me. Barry. Uh, Levy. Barry. Okay, cool. Look, uh, I really appreciate the comments, guys. Keep sending them through. Uh, you're struggling a little collectively this week, i got to say. Uh, but look, I appreciate you getting in touch. Obviously. Uh, so keep them coming. JX Gamer. Me like Barry? Alright. Well, this is a little better than the last couple. Uh... Do you mean like straw? You mean you like me, Barry, or you like like berries, like strawberries? Probably both. Probably both there, JX. Um, I gotta be honest, guys. I'm feeling a little uninspired with the comments this week. If I'm gonna be blunt, uh, last week I asked you for some jokes. Uh, is that what these are? Because they're honestly they're worse than mine, and mine I've been told were like. Pretty much the worst thing anyone's ever spoken in English. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Are you listening out there, jokes? Anyone, you know, responding to the content? Are you even watching? Are you just, you know, gazing, gazing into my eyes, not really listening, not really picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, if you got it on mute, unmute it. Although you can't hear me if I just said that, so. Uh, I don't know. Not a lot more I can do, really, but, um... Yeah, let's see. Let's move on. What else we got? Mario fan. Barry doesn't hardly read any more questions. Why? He used to read a lot. Oh, wow. They changed everything. Look, Mario fan. Uh, if the above comments haven't given you a clue about the answer to that one, then uh, I'll just move on to this next comment, which should answer things. E. All right. That's enough comments. Uh, thanks, everybody, once again. Great to be spending time with you. Don't forget the Art of Half Brick competition for the book. You can win yourself the Art of Half Brick book. You've got one more week to get your art to me. So make sure you send them in. Next week, we'll be going through, having a look at the uh, the entries, picking some winners. And uh, I'm very excited about that. So get your drawings to Larry Steak Fries 123 at gmail.com. All right, guys, have a good week. See ya.